Now, for the second tutorial, you can either click the next tutorial, or if you're just opening the tutorials, go to help, then getting started, and launch the tutorial from here. I'm going to click next tutorial. Let's begin. This tutorial is called Let's Do Some Data Science. In the last tutorial, we lo loaded a data set and ran a process. We found out that 349 passengers survived the Titanic accident. Let's build a process to see if those survivors have something in common or not. We're going to do the same steps that we did in the, in the last tutorial. We're going to go to samples, then data, then find Titanic training and drag it into our process section. The next step is going to include operators. We're going to find a decision tree. We can either do it by using the search or opening the fol folders in the way they are mentioned in the tutorial. If we go into modeling, then predictive and trees, we can find the decision tree right here. If we didn't want to do those steps and if we know what we're looking for, we can just input the decision tree name within our search and drag it into our panel. We are now connecting the output of our data to the decision tree and then we're going to click the mod to the result. Most of the time you will find that the top um, outputs and inputs are usually for communicating data between them. But as you can see, this line is another color and we're going to see what our result is from that line. As you can see, we didn't get data itself per se, but we did get a decision tree. Now this decision tree shows us how the algorithm decides of how the algorithm based its decision on if the passenger will survive or not. And if we go ahead and follow uh, its decision making, it decides the sex first. So if it's a female, ask the question, how many parents or children are on board? If it's more than 4.5, no, they won't survive. If it's less, number of siblings or spouses on board. If it's more than 4.5, they won't survive. Then it asks, how much was the ticket price? If it's more than 35.5, you are most likely going to survive. That was some basic logic. Let's go ahead with the tutorial. It says, congratulations, you've just built your first machine learning model. This was not hard, was it? You know how to load data, add a machine learning model to the process, and execute both steps. These tutorials have only shown you the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with RapidMiner. To keep learning and becoming a RapidMiner master, click the link below to start the next tutorial. That's been it for this video. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.